Hey y'all, Ramdino here, coming at you from what has been an exciting week here in North Carolina. It has rained all week except for this weekend, but now things are looking up, the sun's out, and we have had such a positive week, so I want to tell you all about it. If you've come to this channel to support the hiker community or to be part of the hiker community and to support the through hikers for 2020, you've come to the right place. So I'll be doing this about every week. If you want to get a notice for that, go ahead and hit my subscription button down there. Leave me a comment. Love your call, your comments. I'll respond to them as many as I possibly can, which is most of them most of the time. And if you get anything out of it, give me a thumbs up. Let's go ahead and talk about what's going on the Appalachian Trail right now. So we got a lot of through hikers out there, a lot of good stuff going on. The trail's starting to open up. Trail heads are starting to open up. Parks are starting to open up. Let's go ahead and just talk about the hikers right quick. Uh, Appalachian Exile is back on the trail. And Loss has crossed the halfway point and is uh, on this uh, past Sunday. So uh, they are a good distance away from the half point by now. Dirt Nap uh, today passed Bear Mountain and says that they were the first to stay at the Warwick Drive Theater. And that's at mile 1365. And it's actually a Yellow Blaze Trail about two miles off of there. But it's well worth it. The camping's free. You get to stay at a place and have, uh, you know, under the stars, watch the movies at a drive-in while you're in your tent or bag or whatever. So it's pretty cool. Uh, a lot of people enjoy doing that. Highly recommend that. Kodak is out still out there on the trail, and they are with uh, James, otherwise known as a He got a trail name this week, and his name is Anchor. And Alaska, his dog, uh, Colonel Clothesline, Mama Bear, Sunset, Spitfire, and Picasso are all in Pennsylvania and rolling north. Uh, so they have crossed the Mason-Dixon line as well. A lot of people getting in the Yanker, Yankee territory. Oh, kind of brings a little chill to me, but uh, I was raised and born in the south. But if you're going to hike the Appalachian Trail, I can't think of a better place to uh, hit, the, hit the Yankee territory up there than on the Appalachian Trail. Uh, Jet, Wiki, and Alcat, they are on the north end, if not all the way through the shanties by now, and they have had no issues at all getting through the shanties. John Boy's back on trail, and he's heading into Virginia. Dirty Jobs and his family, uh, Punchline, Dexter, Pearl, and they picked up a new member, uh, Serpent, and they should be just north of Harper's Ferry. And Chris, H900, he got on the trail and says the Pennsylvania section is in great shape, and the PATC has been hard at work. Uh, keeping those trails, uh, those blowdowns off the trails and keeping it open. Uh, 40 is coming into Irwin, and Wild is coming into Damascus, and uh, Free Walker and Walden, uh, father son team, they had a run in with what has been the first reported bear run ins uh, of the year that I have seen. Uh, so they were at Muskrat Gap Shelter, and apparently there were six of them there, and uh, Mama Bear and her cubs got all of their food bags all their food bags were uh, hung and i don't know if they were hung pct style or not probably not because free walker said that the bears uh knew to cut the lines and so they cut the lines and and got to the bag so either the bags weren't hung high enough or they were not hung pct style and so they just cut the lines where it goes down to the tree and they got all six bags so uh, they had to hike out in the morning with no food, get to Deep Gap, and uh, catch a shuttle into Franklin and go ahead and uh, get into the outfitter and get new bags and get new provisions. So that's the first I've heard. Uh, the ATC uh, typically has an incident report that if you have bears that you can report that so that they can uh, keep everybody up to date. Unfortunately, I went to that uh, site today, and that uh, incident report form is not functioning. Imagine that. So, uh, right now, you'll either have to call it in, or you can, you'll can you have to email it in there uh, to them. And then, fi finally, Slider and Granger from Campfire Con uh, Confidential Channel, they're back on the trail, and they sent us a video. So, go ahead, Slider and Granger, let's see what's going on with the trail. Hey, Ram Dino, we're Campfire Confidential. We just want to let you know we're back on the trail. We started out where we left off in Irwin, and we're headed north. We want to express our gratitude to the friends and family who've supported us on this trek. And at their urging, we've decided to continue with, um, with our videos. Ramdino, we want to give you a special thank you for providing news and updates on what's going on on the trail. 
we would call it weather, sports, and a society page. There was even one afternoon where we were standing on a rock outcrop, had enough connectivity that we could uh, download your last video and take a look at it and see what's going on out on the trail. So we really, really do want to express our appreciation for all the effort that you put into your videos and your updates. Thanks a lot. We are glad to see y'all back out there. Can't wait to see your videos. And thank you so much for those kind words that you said about me. Got lots of hikers out there that are planning to get back out on the trail. Some of those that have uh, spoken to me is BJ. She's finalized her plan for Sobo, uh, and she'll be starting at Bowling, String, Bowling Springs, Pennsylvania, and then she'll be flipping to Katahdin whenever it opens. Timberwolf and No Name, they'll be back on the trail in July. Subway is packed, and he is ready to go, ready to return uh, next week. Uh, and Muan, she is on the trail July 1st. So... Uh, there's lots of other folks out there I want to be sure and not only uh, include you and when you're getting back out there if you want if you want folks to know that if you want me to include you please let me know uh, and likewise if you're on the trail and you'd like to be included in the weekly updates we want to include everybody that we possibly can so you can send both of those all that information to me uh, via email at ramdino roman the trails at gmail.com or my Instagram account, just simply Ramdino, or at the Facebook page, Messenger, at Ramdino Roaming the Trails. And all of those links will be down in the description section. And I want to thank all the hikers that did send me all their information and pushed them to me, rather than me having to go out there and uh, try to get them and find them on my own. That helps me out tremendously each week when I put together uh, this update for folks. And so if you could do that, then that would be awesome. And that would really help me out a lot. And likewise, if you're out there and you have some information for me, this is a community channel, so please let me know what that information is, be it uh, uh, some news from the trail or news about a through hiker or what have you, and I'll be uh, sure to um, uh, check that out and go ahead and include that in the update. So I came across an interesting graphic I want to share with you of where the hiker bubble is uh, typically predicted to be this time of year. So it should be down somewhere in central Virginia. And, of course, the hiker bubble is completely different this year because most people are doing flip-flops. Of course, there is some people that stayed on the trail, and they'll be doing a pure nobo. Uh, but, um, the, uh, but people that will be getting out, back out there now, uh, a lot of those folks will be doing a flip-flop. And so uh, right now the hiker bubble is somewhere kind of around between northern Virginia uh, and up in Pennsylvania. So... Uh, it's actually ahead of where it typically is. Uh, I think that's because as people get back on the trail, uh, or that's what I'm tracking anyway, and, that, and that's just my opinion of where the hiker bubble is right now. Opinions may vary, uh, but, uh, but the folks that have been uh, giving me updates and telling me things, then that's kind of where I'm predicting where the bubble is. However, like I said, it's, all, it's really a shotgun start. It's all over the place right now. So, folks out there on the trail, weather coming up. Um, once you get past tomorrow and Memorial Day, then you should have a great week of hiking with uh, no appreciable amount of rain. Um, there'll be a little rain uh, Sunday and Monday. It's kind of scattered showers uh, throughout the trail, but particularly in North Carolina, Tennessee, and Southern Virginia. Uh, but it won't be a complete washout like it's been. So what's going on, on the trail? What kind of news we got going on from the trail? Well, there's a ton of positive st stuff going on, like I said. Uh, great week we had last week. One uh, warning I want to give you uh, before we hit everything else positive, and that is that uh, the U.S. Marshal Service and Graham County Sheriff's Department have released a trail alert for an individual uh, that is out there on the trail. They want everybody to check and see if he's out there. Uh, he is suspected of uh, murdering somebody down in Greenville, South Carolina, and he is a known hiker, known to frequent the trail, known to frequent hostels and hotels along the trail. Uh, here's his picture, and there's his vehicle, that his last known vehicle that he was in. So if you see this person, don't approach him. Go ahead and uh, call 911, report it to authorities, and uh, but uh, don't worry about... Um, you know, talking to them or trying to take anything into your own hands or any, anything like that. Just let the authorities know. So that's really the only uh, bad thing we got going on right now. Everything else is positive. So speaking of, uh, oh, and by the way, this guy is supposed to be in the Fontana area right now, which is around Graham County, uh, which or is in Graham County, and that's why the Graham County Sheriff's Department put this out as well. So Fontana Dam, 
Fontana area, that's kind of where he is. And speaking of Fontana resupply, uh, I had uh, Joe Hikes says that he has a good friend, a trail named SWAT, and he had uh, resupplied at the marina and says that there is plenty of resupply opportunities there at the marina, plenty of food there for you to take. So uh, before, as you know, the uh, Fontana Lodge, general store and the pit stop are closed so you can't get anything there post office is open but you'll have to take a shuttle to get to the post office or it's a pretty long walk to get there uh, but you can get resupply there according to joe hikes friend and they also looked on gut hooks and gut hooks uh somebody mentioned on there here recently that they had good resupply at the marina uh, i actually called the marina and tried to ask them myself and they did not return my call so uh, just keep that in mind when you're going through there. It looks like that could be uh, an opportunity. And if somebody does resupply there that's on the trail right now, I would love to have that information. So a lot of hostels and everything are opening up. Matter of fact, Boots Off Hostel has a Memorial Day uh, party going on right now up there. So uh, if you're anywhere around Boots Off in, um, in Hampton, uh, now with everything opening up, we'll talk about that in just a minute. Just uh, keep in mind that uh, shelters and privies are still going to be closed. So uh, you won't be able to use those, so bring your pooper scooper uh, and uh, be sure that um, you're, uh, you're practicing leave no trace and also staying away from areas there, you know, doing your stuff uh, a, a distance away from the shelter. Uh, Watauga Lake up at Hampton, Tennessee, I uh, saw a report where it is at flood stage and supposed to rise another seven to eight feet. So uh, that's out just right outside Boots Off Hostel. They have closed off the road getting to the beach because it's underwater. Uh, and there is a section of the AT that goes around uh, the lake there that you will have to uh, take a high water trail uh, for the next few days until that water gets down uh, around Watauga Lake there at Hampton. Corresponded with a Damascus town official, and he says, Right now, we are carefully opening everything back up, following the governor's orders, even the creeper trail. So, even the creeper trail is open. Of course, the AT shares a little bit of the creeper trail there, uh, but he says, Though many of it is accompanying facilities are closed. So, a lot of the facilities there in that section are closed. Uh, if you're planning to come to town, we just ask that you please take all precautions for everyone's safety. Otherwise, welcome. So uh, I saw um, the other day when I checked that they still got their warning about um, not being on the trail because the ATC still has their warning up about not being on the trail as far as the through hiker goes. Uh, but that town official there in Damascus said, welcome, so come on. Uh, Smokey's permits, uh, again, uh, like we said last week, they're still hard to get a site, so um, I would... Um, you know, it's going to be difficult because there's so many people trying to get reservations. It's been my experience uh, going and getting reservations uh, for a particular site there in the Smokies that uh, it'll show it being completely full. And then when I get to that site, uh, there's either nobody there or it's not anywhere close to capacity. So uh, as a minimum, you know, you can't get a through hiker permit now. You have to get a backcountry permit. But as a minimum, I would go ahead and get that permit. Uh, even if you're not planning on staying in a shelter, just get it for whatever shelter you can get a reservation at. That way you'll have that permit uh, on hand, either printed out or on your phone, and they like for you to have it printed out. Um, uh, and then that way if you do get stopped, I have seen them checking uh, permits before, so uh, please make sure you at least got a permit to be in the park. Uh, the shanties are open for trail access as of today, the 23rd, uh, and that's trail access from the Skyland Drive. So boundary trails are still closed, so that would include the Appalachian Trail. So they don't want you hiking in on the Appalachian Trail coming into the park. That being said, uh, even uh, for weeks now, people have been hiking through the shanties. Uh, they've had no problems getting through. They have passed uh, rangers, uh, and nobody stopped anybody, so I have not heard of anybody uh, getting um, having any kind of problems I did have one report that was kind of third hand uh, that somebody did get a fine and was escorted out but I, I didn't couldn't find a confirmation anywhere from that and overwhelmingly everybody through hikers that's been going through there have told me that they have not had a problem getting through so uh, not saying that you're supposed to do that not recommending you do that just giving you the facts giving the information of what's going on on the trail so as most of you know by now, on the 20th, the ATC issued a repeat of their not to through hike. They did give you um, 
acknowledge that it's okay to do some day hikes and even section hikes as long as you do so within a tank of gas of your home. In other words, they want you to stay local. They don't want you to uh, mix with anybody in any gas stations or uh, as long as you don't stop for food on the way or to get supplies. So that is their recommendations. I'm, I'm not saying those are mine. I'm saying that those are their recommendations and that's what they've said. Uh, they did say that their guidance would change when one of three criteria was met. Now this was on the 20th. All official closures on the AT resulting from the pandemic are removed. So that means that everything including uh, the shanties, uh, which at the time of the 20th, at the time when they published this, they were closed completely. Uh, the Triple Crown is still closed and Baxter State Park is closed till July 1st. So until everything opens up, uh, that cri criteria cannot be met. Now, we know uh, that the shanties are opening up now. Uh, of course, can't not supposed to be on AT there, but if they're opening up, that's just a matter of time before that's going to happen. That's certainly a very positive move in that direction. Uh, and then number two was the rate of COVID-19 infections has remained flat for a period of two weeks and recommended required quarantines for out-of-state visitors in all 14 trail states have been lifted. So again, that's an all or nothing approach. You know, I felt like just like the country's doing now and even individual states are doing phased approach, why does the ATC not come out with a phased approach? But it's an all or nothing with them and that's their opinion. Uh, or number three, uh, an effective vaccine to protect against COVID-19 is widely available. Uh, the earliest I've seen that happen, and these are anecdotal uh, remarks, is in December. Most everybody, uh, like the CDC uh, and the other experts uh, out there, say it's a 12 to 18 months before we get a working vaccine. So that means, uh, according to that, uh, the 2021 flu hikers are also not going to be able to do theirs based upon that criteria being met. So all that was put out before uh, we had uh, the openings that now we have the trailheads in uh, of the National Forest in Georgia, North Carolina, Tennessee, and Virginia, with the exception of the Triple Crown. All those National Forest Service or trailheads are now open. So uh, you can access the Appalachian Trail legally in all uh, four of those states except where I mentioned in all four of those states and the rest of them will be opening up shortly uh, I'm sure so that came out like the day after uh, the ATC put out their recommendations of people uh, not to go out there and through hike so again I, I don't know if there's a, a disconnect there between the National Forest Service and the ATC you would think that they would be talking to each other particularly when the the, AT, the, the National Forest Service comes out with something that's uh, um, different than what the ATC has said or maybe somewhat counter to what they've said uh, the very day after that. And then I have confirmed with shuttle drivers down in Georgia that uh, the barricades have been removed and removed uh, uh, the day they came out with that and they were just waiting on the maintenance folks to come by and pick them up. So that's awesome. A lot, a lot of positive, positive stuff going on this week and I think it's just going to only going to get better from here. Now, all that being said, of course, the ATC still will not recognize you as a through hiker uh, until uh, they deem that you know one of those criteria has been met and they say that, OK, it's been met and now we'll recognize you. So right now they're still not recognizing anybody that's out there on the trail as a through hiker. Uh, you're still through hiker if you through hike in my opinion and everybody else's opinion pretty much except the atc um, some people however they do want that piece of paper nothing wrong with that nothing wrong with that at all uh, but that piece of paper doesn't make you a through hiker um, so in any case uh, there are some people out there that that do want that um, just so you know i guess they could show it to people or put it on the wall or what have you but um, in any case uh, those are what I've gotten uh, the information that I can glean from the ATC. I've also got uh, several trail angels that have contacted me uh, and I am sharing those directly to the hikers on the trail. So uh, if you're a trail, angel, a trail angel and you would like me to share your contact information, 
uh, publicly. I can do that uh, through my access list that we'll talk about in just a minute. Or if you would like for me just to share it privately, hiker to hiker, uh, I can do that as well. Uh, and so if you'll just uh, send me uh, the, your information, contact information, your name, and, and what area you cover uh, as a trail angel, be it uh, willing to give people shuttles or willing to feed people, take them, take them in your house for a shower or whatever, uh, whatever trail angel service you want to give, I'll be glad to pass that along to folks. Be sure you let me know if you want it public or private and send it to me at one of my contact links down in the description section. So speaking of my access list, uh, as most of you know, I had a list of about over 200 hikers when we started out before everything tore loose. Uh, and so of course, uh, I, because there were some um, negative remarks going on out there, then I took that down just to try to, try to do my part to protect uh, the hikers that were on the trail. At this point, since things are opening up so much uh, and there have been so many hikers that said, hey, it's okay to share my information now. I think most of the haters out there have uh, don't have much ammo left. Uh, and so, uh, hey, they hate us because they ain't us. Now, if you can tell me what movie that quote came from, uh, leave me a comment down there and I'll pick a comment and I'll send you some type of trail magic. But I will be opening up access to that list uh, with this video. So I'd like for, if you're a through hiker, I'd like for you to go check that list out. If your name's not on there and you want it to be, then please send me your uh, social media uh, as well as your name, social media links, and your trail name if you have one. Uh, and just check it out and I'll uh, and see the information that's already there and send me that information. I'll be glad to put you on there. If you're a through hiker and you are on that list and you don't want to be on that list, let me know. I will be glad to remove you from that list. Uh, there's still some people that, that don't want to be on there uh, just for, uh, for whatever reason, doesn't matter. Be glad to take you off of that. But that list is, is a way that uh, people uh, do go to that list and they find your channels and, and your links and they do support you through that. And that is the purpose of that list to uh, support the through hikers. Last but not least, uh, this upcoming uh, video for update for next weekend, uh, may be somewhat delayed because I am getting on the trail myself. I'm hiking with a through hiker out there, Phoenix, from the Phoenix and uh, Pappy duo. Pappy is going back to the Adirondacks. He has a cabin there uh, until next year. And Phoenix is going to be getting on the trail uh, to finish his through hike in Harper's Ferry. But before he goes, uh, he and I are going to do a section from uh, Devil's, I believe it's Devil's Fork. Uh, in uh, North Carolina or Tennessee to Irwin, Tennessee. Uh, so I'm looking forward to that with Phoenix and that'll be coming up this weekend. I'll be dropping a video about that eventually as well. Folks, I appreciate you watching. That's all I got for you this week. Be sure and uh, hit that subscribe button. Leave a comment. Above all things, I love watching, your, seeing your comments and love responding to them. And that's all I got. And as always, appreciate you and we'll see you out there.